Hello, this is Deepak Kirbakran with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video demonstrates how to perform core integration of ACCCN with Communication Manager. This is the web interface screen for ACCCN which is open in my desktop and I've clicked on the CM tab under the CFG option. The first step, we need to make sure that the Activate CM Provider functionality and the Activate Skill Synchronization is checked. You can see that they are checked here. There are three entries, CM Provider LES name, CM Provider Path, and CM Provider DSN. So I click on CM Provider and validate the entries. We can see that the LES name is CM Provider, CM Provider Path is HTTP localhost, and CM Provider DSN is 1. Now I scroll down and enter the CM LES name. This can be any name. CM Provider IP address has to be the IP address of the CM where you're integrating against. Against the CMS ACD specify 1. Against the CM username, I type in the profile 18 user which we have created in CM for the ACCCM integrations. Against the CM password, I type in the password of the profile 18 user. Under the CM type, we need to specify the type of the CM which we're integrating. So in this option, there is no option for S8800, so I specify other. Under the CM version, select 6.0.1 because that's the version I'm integrating against. In is pin required, I specify no because I have not integrated any PIN in the Communication Manager. Against the Business Advocate, I specify no because CM is not integrated with Business Advocate. If we have a location feature enabled on the CM, we have to click on yes, else we have to click on no. This feature is applicable for CM6 or higher. In this demo, I have not selected location enabled, hence I select no. If multiple call handling feature is enabled on the CM, you need to specify yes. In this demo, I have not enabled multiple call handling feature and hence I select no. In number of supported agent skills, we need to enter the number of skills which is supported by the communication manager. Here we am specifying the default, which is 60. The is automatic feature has to be checked only if the TTY feature is enabled on the CM. In this case, it is enabled and hence I have checked this. Leave the track traffic and the history length in days to the defaults. Now that we have made the relevant entries, we now need to save this particular form. So I click on the update button. And we can see that the new CM configuration listed below. Now click on the CFG tab and click on locations. The different locations are listed here. Now we need to create a new location for this particular CM. I click on the plus mark to add the location and type in the location name, which is Pune, and the description of a location. This is not mandatory. So I've typed in this is Pune location. I uncheck audit log, sync location, etc. And I save this. You can see that the operation is completed successfully and we have a new location now, which is Pune. Against the Pune, we can see that the CM server, CM Pune 601 is listed. I click on the arrow mark and we can see that it's under the chosen server. I click on save. So in this way, the CM is integrated successfully to the ACCCM. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful to you. We welcome your comments, questions, or feedback at mentor at avaya.com or at avaya mentor on Twitter. For more details and other related technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.